What is happening? Corona, da 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 That goes on in my head every single day. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction sheet. It's Corbin. Ashley. You know who I am. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Juicy content. Download. It's so juicy. <laughs> Thank you for our social media. Make sure to make an apology for your Twitter account today. Uh, why are you a chicken? Why not? Why are you not a chicken? And today we are reacting to a famous singer. I hope it's Dwight Yoakam. No, he, he's uh, he's an older singer. I'm, I'm sure he was a playback singer at one point, but he's a really famous Indian singer. Uh, read this for me, please. Dwight Yoakam is not a famous Indian singer. Read it. Bimson Joshi. Puriya Dineshi. Yes, uh, this is a very, it's all in black and white, but he's a very <gasps> ah. sweet, I, he's doing that singing we've seen a lot of females do, but I don't think we've had a... Carnatic? Well, the... I never, 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 never. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. I don't know what it's called. It's Carmen, I don't know why you're not a famous singer. Anymore. I agree. It's true. <laughs> but, uh, yes, it's, it's in black and white. So Is this like a live... Yeah. Oh, awesome. Here we go. So, ready? <laughs> Hindustani classical music. Read that.
Like he was possessed. Yep. And he was like, like it started over here, but he and had, then it ended he, over here. He had to get it out of over here and move it over there. So I don't know if it was all performance or that's just how he is oh. when he sings. Yeah, I guarantee none of that was that was just pure expression. As surely as the things coming out of his voice, yeah, were just expressions that were guided by what was going on musically. His physicality was nothing but an extension of that. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah completely. Goodness. And I don't even know, like, obviously. The first half was basically, it was just almost like just 
how Indian music can transport you basically in the yeah. other world. And um, it was it was sometimes sad because he was going he was almost breaking the sound equipment they had at some mm -hmm. points. You yeah. know, it wasn't him. It's yeah. just the sound equipment they had didn't exactly. can't equate. To no, not no. <laughs> obviously, so that was disappointing at certain points because mm -hmm. I wanted to hear that because he went really high sometimes. Yeah. But the really impressive thing, y'all could tell y'all are actually singers. I don't know how he does that little. I, I can't even do it. Uh, no, can I? But like, like he did different than like people we've ever seen though before. Like he'll go, ah, and then he'll go like almost into a whisper, yeah, yes. and then go right back into like oh, like almost he's out of breath, but then he comes right back in, which yeah. is I'm guessing just ridiculously impressive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even for Indian music, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's there's so many analogies for me with this. The first one was um, it, it reminded me. <laughs> when I closed my eyes, I start. I saw like um, the bank of some body of water on a shore I've seen in India before. And and as I as my as I was listening, it started to do this, and it, I, I immediately started to see images in my mind that reminded me of the images that Christopher Nolan does in Inception, uh, how he takes the physical realm and and bends it outside yeah. of the normal structures of physics. And then I was immediately reminded of the fact that, and I'll wax quite metaphysical right now, that the, the, there is something known in theory of the fine tuning of the universe and there's a musicality in the universe that has a mathematical equation and does have musical notes associated with it. Uh, there actually is a musicality that's present, present in the universe uh, with harmonic series overlays mm -hmm. and it would, it, this is the closest art form that if someone were to say to me, because that's what art is. Art is, is expressing that which is otherwise inexpressible. Yeah. And if someone were, were to ask me who didn't know, who came from a completely different dimension and universe and said, what is your universe like? I would say, well, you should listen to that because it's, it's seemingly structureless, but yet with form mm -hmm. and the bending yeah. can sound to the untrained ears as if it's just nonsensical meanderings yeah. mm -hmm. and it's the exact opposite yeah. in the same way that there seems to be a chaos in the universe that actually has complete there, order yeah, and there's, there's no up or down in the universe there's no sideways there's no front or back and the time space continuum is a human construct that's based on the laws of physics in this Mm -hmm. realm mm -hmm. and this realm itself is even being held together by something called dark matter and basically 75 to 80 percent of the known universe is held by stuff we can't measure yeah. uh, which it may be completely other systems of modality and physics that we just like dogs can hear things we can't there are laws of physics in other realms and other sounds we've yet to hear and it would not surprise me if this form of artistry comes closest to tapping Mm. Into what that, that looks like. right, which is why so much of it is linked to nirvanic states and yeah. so much of the spiritual. In the beginning, he was definitely matching each of the instruments. Oh, his voice yeah. was crazy impressive. <laughs> yeah, it was a combination mm. of mastery, like the mastery of the musicianship. Like I said to the trained ear, this is the difference. You and I were talking about scotches mm -hmm. and how and you would know this being an Irishman. Sure do. How yes. if you don't know yes. this. There's different liquors, and so you could go to something as base and, and simple as I think it's all alcohol. Drinking man. a, you know, <laughs> having a, a, a Budweiser. I'm going to the bottom of the spectrum. Sorry for you Budweiser fans. Mm -hmm. uh, you and like then to drink your scotches. And I, re I remember when I was introduced to scotch, the man who did it, he gave me three different things to taste. And the first one I tasted, I went, wow, that's really one of the best liquors I've ever had. He gave me a second glass, and I said, what the heck? Because compared to what I just had, it was a whole new expanse of experience and then he got out this flask and he opened up the box and took it out of this velvet thing and set it down and poured one for me and him <laughs> and we drank that and I looked at it and looked at him and I said Jedi Master teach me your ways what did you just do to me because the difference between the three was universally transcendent and he went eight year scotch 15 year scotch 30 year scotch that is 30 year scotch that is Ooh. just an expansiveness of artistry that to the to the to the uninitiated, like you give a thirty year scotch to a kid, they're gonna spit it out because they have yet to reach that place in their palate to comprehend what they're experiencing. Yeah. I feel the same way about this. I feel like we can barely comprehend what um, we just heard. And as, <laughs> as singers, can you ever imagine 
sitting down for a performance and singing like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Which is something I kept thinking of. I was like, in Western singing, because like, uh, I've been in choir, my brother's a singer, and I've been around a bunch of singers. Yeah. You, you sit, posture, feet are on the floor, head is up. Oh. Your chin is right here the whole time, whether you're going so high or low. Is yep, you got the clean breathing, diaphragmatic. He was support. literally like I sit during reactions. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and I, uh, I can't. I, I, the the amount of it moves control. fast. Yeah, like faster than. And the fact that he was going, ah, and then he went, mm, yes. I, I, I and can't. some of the intervals he hit, mind-boggling. Yeah, you're like whoa. He was. He was never out of tune. Mm -hmm. No, he no he wasn't. He went and did. Which is why I was upset with the sound with quality. The other, but, you know, all, there was with never the, the anything just, like, that sounded sharp or flat. Because mm -hmm. even though the, the the eastern modes go in between what we know in the west, the mm -hmm. notes, um, there's a lot it's more. It's so warm. Going, oh, right. I love it. Yeah. But it also you can still go sharp or flat. Yeah. There are still spaces in between, even though they have less space. And he just he just. There wasn't any sharps and flats. It was that was. Yeah, I would love to see more from him. So let us know uh, him or other legends that there are, and there's sure there's a million. But he was so good. Yeah, and you know what? I would love to learn more as well about because I know I would love to learn it too. Exactly, I'd love to know more about the connection, the the mind body spirit connection between this music and I know that I know that Eastern music and people from India they they get it's like yeah we've been in touch with the universe and time space continuum and how music is connected to it before our country ever existed mm -hmm. so I want to I want to read and learn that's what I loved about when the Beatles went to India their minds were blown because they were lovers of music mm -hmm. and then they got to India they're like we know nothing <laughs> <laughs> we know nothing yeah like the guy who showed me scotch was like show me your ways <laughs> I know nothing you know nothing George Harrison <laughs> <laughs> well true. let us know other uh, songs of his or Unreal. performances of his or other legends out there because you know we love this crap yep I mean crap I could he's Isn't not like calling it crap possible. come on it's, guys it's, it's, take a break god you're offended by everything everything <laughs> <laughs>